we will now look at creating a data entry form for our student table. So what we can click on is create, then we can go across to form wizard, and then we can select what we want on our form. So we will include everything on our student table, so you can select the table from this option here. So we'll click on the double arrow which will select all the fields across. Then we can click on next. We can choose the layout of our form. So at the moment we'll stick with the first option. Click next. And we can give our form a name. So we can call it student details form. And then we can open the form to view or enter information. And our form has now been created. We will now create some functionality in our form by adding some buttons. So we can firstly click on, right click on student details form. We can click on design view. We can drag the footer down so we've got some space to add in our buttons. Then we go to design at the top. And now we can use this command here which will add a button in. Select it once, go to the form, and drag it out. And now we have the option of these different categories and these different actions. So firstly, we'll start off with a record operation, which will create a new record. We can choose our own text, or we can add in a picture. For this, we'll choose new text, so we can type in new student, we can click on next, we can also type in a meaningful name which we can refer to later on if we need to, we click on finish and now that we have a button now which we can create a new student with. We'll also create some more buttons so we can go to the next record, the previous record and also where we can delete a record. So for next record we can use this option here. For previous record we can use this option here. For deleting a record we can use this option here. So I've selected next record. I can now click on next. In this instance I'm going to use a picture instead. So I can either use an arrow which goes to the right, or I can use a go to next symbol. So I'm going to use the arrow which goes to next, and I can call this next record. I have now created the rest of my buttons. So I've got a trash can, which means to delete a record, and I've also got a previous record button. I have now completed my student details form. I can also add color to the form if you want to add the ethos and how style of the organization. You can add in maybe a clip art image or an image from the internet. And you can also add color to the background of the form to make it more aesthetically pleasing. We can now create a very similar form for our table instructor. So we can click on create, go to form wizard again. And in this instance, we've got instructor selected. So we want all the fields on our form. Then we click on next, we choose columnar, we click on next, we can call this Instructor details form. We can click on finish. And now we have our instructor details form. For this, we can now also go to design view and add in buttons similar to what we did on our student details form. 
So eventually, we will end up with something like this. Now we want to create a form to enter in our different lesson types. So we can click on create again. And we can click on form wizard. We can select our table lesson type and then select everything across. Click next and next again. And we can call this lesson type form. We can click on finish and our lesson type form is up. Now we want to, we can also add buttons on this to add in a new lesson, delete a lesson type, go to the previous lesson type and go to the next lesson type. So once we finish up, we will end up with something like this with our different lesson types at the top here and we've also got our navigation buttons here at the bottom.